Welcome to another episode of the Oxygen Not Included Beginner's Guide series. And off screen, I think I planned some things. So I'm turning this into a nature reserve by closing off this top because it was too big uh, at the 200 tiles. You can see 120 is the max. So once this is closed off, there we go. We now have a park reserve. I don't think people will be using it often uh, because the only real reason to come down here is to like harvest these things. Um, but it'll give them some kind of boost uh, when they do come here, so that's good. I marked off rooms, I put in airflow tiles because I kind of forgot that for a little bit there. Oh, we have a baby hatch. Are we uh, cramped? Yeah. So there's two options with cramped. We could hunt one of the creatures, which I've done in the last episode. The other thing you could do would be to come here and cue a omelette, making an omelette. So we'll crack this egg open. That should help. What research are we looking at? Don't remember queuing that particular bit of research, <laughs> I'll be honest. I mean, cool. I just don't remember wanting that research done. I may have accidentally clicked it at some point and they just stuck to it. <laughs> uh, let's see. The next thing that we could do would be either this little guy to automate our um, dumping of items on the floor. The infinite storage, basically. The other thing is getting the suits made. These guys. So since that one has so many parts to the research, let's go ahead and start with the, re the storage. And then we'll queue working on this guy. And that'll keep our researcher occupied for quite some time. Uh, something I wanted to do this episode would be convert some of the walls to insulated tile. Yeah, new principle. So each type of rock will have a different and better um, thermal protection, basically. Um, but when it comes to the insulative tile, it doesn't matter quite as much. It would matter more if you were just building the solid block out of that material. The insulative tile is already just really good at protecting from temperature shifting. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. We're going to start on this wall. Did I choose the sand rock just for demonstration? Oh, didn't intend that. I wanted... Yeah, okay. Sand rock. Try again. Now you don't want to insulate, one time I tried this, insulating against this room, like so, and I put too much insulation around it, and it made it so these guys were not, they were struggling because I was keeping too much heat in the room and this room was getting too hot, so don't recommend doing that. Oh, we had a bit of food decay. That's all right. Right, principle. Uh, what are we at? Fungal spore. Just one. Were we looking for a person or did we... I'm pretty sure we took two people on last episode. I think we should be okay. So we have two cooks now. Yes, I think that's right. So we'll print this. Don't forget to check this every once in a while and queue things. So we'll make that omelet, which will be good. Another thing I'm going to want to do soon is get this water drained over here so we can keep building. I'm gonna probably mirror this entrance in and out of the base on this side. So I'm gonna need this cleared out. Polluted water. From where? Oh, right here. They would have accidentally let that out. So let's, uh, that should just, if we mop it, it'll get put over there. All right, we need to do our duplicate skills. I might wait a little bit for all of this. Kind of not necessary at the moment. And we may need her to do something later. Let's get growling too for Bonhi. Whoa, 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 where are you taking the, oh, okay. 
So please don't put that in our food. <laughs> that would be terrible. I feel like I should probably put the sink out of this room. But I don't want to. <laughs> so let's see. I would really like it if they'd get this stuff swept up so it's not just falling further and further down as I dig. So let's get maybe a higher priority on cleaning that stuff up. Oh, and our research is done. Ooh, perfect. So we can get that set up now. And then get that started. Shipping. And there's a, a now a new overlay for that. Oh, and we have our auto sweeper now. So we can maybe set one up here. We'll see. But for now, ah, here it is. It's under base. Smart storage. Okay. But we want this. The automatic dispenser. So anything delivered to it, it just um, dumps it back in the world. So let's take one of these. Oh, to rotate it. It will take power to work. So the reason we'd want this automatic dispenser instead of this guy is because we can set the filters on it and then never have to adjust them again. Because here, it's best to hit all and then uh, uncheck it, temp everything, and then just check all. But there's stuff I wouldn't want them putting here, like eggs or dirt or anything like that. So, you know, I don't want like these polluted and the rot and stuff coming over here. And if I'm not careful with how I have stuff set up other places in the base, it'll end up here. So I can set what I actually want here with this guy and then just leave it. I don't have to be aware of it going forward. Here we got a uh, wall pot, hanging pot, corner molding, pedestal, sculpture block, and ice block. So we could start working on making this overlay nicer. Because <laughs> it's not great living in this base. Everything's kind of hideous. <laughs> Okay, I've got the filters on this guy set, so I could delete this guy. And I've also gone ahead and turned down the priority again, just because if we do have places for stuff, I'd rather go right there than here. And I will have another one of these on this side eventually. Maybe I should do that sooner than later. So we'll have a sink. Yep, that. Okay. So I've got this guy built. So what we can actually do is come over here, copy settings, and apply it to this guy. So it'll change the urgency of it, the priority, and what we've got filtered. So now you can see it working. It's getting the thing. Dump notes around the floor. Thanks. Hmm. This corner though. Uh, let's have to take this down. So I can get a ladder up here. So if we're gonna continue this along the ceiling here. Yep, we learned textile. So we've learned the loom and the carpet tile. Very nice. So when it comes to what ladders dupes can use, they can go every other and just jump across. So that'll help us be able to reach all of this. We also want some of this in here. But we don't want to get too much going on for this. We need to get this moved soon. Let's see if I can think this out. I think this is what I want. So I would probably do a smart battery. We're just testing this out. Hold on, hold on. Quite the face you're making there. <laughs> Sorry about that. So smart battery. Uh, is the right transformer? So we'll need one of these. So what this will do is it'll take a lot of power and then limit it down to a smaller amount that won't ruin our wires and then we can put that through the base. Then we'll probably need a ladder and that will be where our big boy wire, the heavy watt, will go through because it can take 220 opposed to the one that this one can handle. We could get really big with the 50 but I don't think that'll be necessary for a while. And then I would want for this particular spot food storage bins 
and then the coal generator. Oh, I wasn't. I was wrong. So I'll actually be using this wire throughout the base for now. And what we're going to be doing is divide it so that like each floor, maybe every two floors, we'll have to see, um, will have their own separate battery and converter so that we can make sure that we're not overloading our uh, wires. And I see we have new printables. More food has decayed. A little unfortunate. I think we're doing okay for now. That's a really good dupe, uh, stats wise. Bottomless stomach's not ideal. We don't want them eating more than necessary. That's actually a pretty good combo. We'll just take the seed. Thank you. Uh, I was thinking about um, our automatic dispenser and the infinite storage. I don't remember if I mentioned this um, when I first started talking about the infinite storage versus having a bunch of storages. I do believe it has the potential to help with frame rate to use the infinite storage because it consolidates all of the same types into a single pile instead of having, you know, all of these sandstone all over the entire base. It like helps to stack them all together. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct, but I think that's one of the reasons a lot of people will use the infinite storage. Would you be so kind as to put that all back where it belonged? Uh, just some water, please. Flying through this uh, research. So this is insulated gas pipes, Atmo sensor, which you can use for automation, along with gas shutoffs and high pressure gas vent. Here's all our decorative um, pieces. Sometimes like in a bathroom or something, you can run, let's see, sandstone. So we do something like this. And some crown molding along. And that'll just help with how this room looks. So you can see. Just a little bit. Let's get all these ladders taken out of here so we can put the bed back. <laughs> Thank god this isn't like room rim world where they get disgruntled if a lot of noise is happening in their room. Because <laughs> these guys would definitely have some disturbed sleep right now. So now we're gonna take the heavy watt wire right here. We'll have it go like this and then we'll connect it to this guy. So here we can see it takes in the bigger wattage and converts it to the smaller here. So this is how you want it set up. That battery's not quite set up yet, <laughs> but we'll get there. Uh, two bits of automation that we're going to need is this little guy we're working over here. So we're going to want on an auto sweeper, which we will rotate like so. So this white bubble you have around it is its reach. So you can see you can reach these two which I'm storing coal in and this which it will be putting the coal into. Have you really finished all of the research? Wow. A researcher is a beast. <laughs> and then the next thing we'll want do we have it does not look it. Well good thing they finished the research. We have another thing to Q. Is this correct? I think we're gonna want an or gate. Is that an and or? Mm -hmm. There's some crazy gates in here. You can tell this is stuff I don't know anything about. I have not gotten this far. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna want an or gate. So basically what I'll be saying is if either of the two batteries that we'll be using for right now. If either of the two batteries are empty, then the coal generator will run, but otherwise it will not. So every time I've been queuing um, some refined copper, I'm making sure to go dig some so that we're not running out like we did last time. So let's see, how many floors do we have? Three, six. So right now, what I'll probably be doing is including the, the three floors. It'll be this guy will handle the top three. This one's going to be handling these bottom three. This one's clearly not going to be doing a whole lot, but it does run the kitchen, which does take a lot of power. It means we're going to need to split this here at some point. Like so. 
Ooh, we don't have someone who can build this quite yet. So that's not where you look at that. <laughs> Skills. That be our builder? Here. Woof. Okay. Um We don't really have a tinkerer. So if we were to go all the way up here, that would use up all the morale this person has. So I'm not entirely sure if we want to try to get someone who will specialize in that. Or if we want to try to get like one of the cooks leveled up to that point. Okay, so our food is going down a touch, but it does look like these guys will be soon-ish. So that, that'll be a decision if we... I guess if we see a tinkerer soon, um, we can consider printing them. Otherwise, I might end up turning one of the cooks into a tinkerer so that we can get this going. But it's, uh, I don't think it will build yet, but it, it's cute here. So now we just got to wait for our research. I've also, again, as you saw, got some of these wires set up. And then once that is done, the ones that, that I have here, once they're built, I'll go through and disconnect from the top to the bottom. So I'll be getting rid of this connection and this connection. Let us disable that building just for now. Because as you can see, this one's full, that battery's full, and it's still running. Uh, we're still waiting for the gate, the logic gate, to be done. Hello! Oh my god. Uh, easy choice. We need this, like, refined copper. Oh, I see an egg in there. Don't want it. So we'll make another omelette. I should probably convert to fridges soon. <laughs> I believe the layout for the ore gate will be something like that. And then this will connect here. I'm going off in case you're curious. A picture of a base I've run on this world seed before I started this series so that I could at least make sure I could get through the start <laughs> before trying to explain to other people how to do it. So it looks like a lot of the wires have been built so let's turn this. I guess we can just do the F2 here and then Deconstruct power wires. And then we'll, we'll remove those. Research done. Perfect. We don't want to sever this line just yet. Because then we'll lose power on this whole half. Of it, so <laughs> not what we want. We also need another heavy watt wire. Ooh, there. Okay, yeah. Everything's looking good. We need a wire from here to here. Is it a, was it a two-stage research? Yes. Dang it! This guy's gonna be running extra because it's filling these batteries as well. It should still be based off of this battery's fill, but I don't know that this one's gonna be going up while it's trying to charge these guys. So it actually might be a good idea to sever the line here. See if that was where I wanted it. Yeah. So it'll just not not charge one of these for now at least. So you can see right now our potential load is way too high. But we're about to fix that, so. Now I don't think this should be taking in any power because I don't think it works in the reverse. So I don't think let's hit F2. Yeah, you can see that these are not getting anything because the wires are purple. Same with these. So it can't be like the power goes through from this battery through here and down into this battery. This is a one directional for the power. Oh, okay. So here's something we haven't really seen a whole lot of. Hold still, Marie. We need to do Oh my god, what is your arm doing? That's besides the point. So Marie is actually experiencing her um, happy response, which is, you can find under here, under traits. This dupe leaves a trail of happy sparkles when they're overjoyed. So that means she's doing really well, her morale and everything is taken care of. So you can see she's got 22 out of 6. So she's uh, she's having 
good time. There are other ones. One will hand out balloons to everybody. I also like how fast these guys move. They're really nice to have in the base. But they'll hand out um, balloons to other dupes. Uh, and another response is they'll put stickers all over on the walls, which is kind of fun. I think they might give like a good, a little bit of a positive uh, decor boost, the stickers. If I wasn't dumping <laughs> and using all of our copper at the moment, I would make another fire pole over probably here on this side. But with all this power stuff we're doing, I need that copper. While we're waiting for this to be researched, I think it would be fun to look at this. So automation is, what is the key? Shift F2, I see. Okay, so it looks like with this, these are AND gates. So they'll need both things to be true for it to send a true signal. So both need to be green to send a green. And basically what it's saying is all three of these buttons need to be pressed for this um, to allow a duplicate. So what we can see here is this button leads to this and and this one here. So we'd need both of these for this one to send a green. And then this guy jumps over, hits this one. So if this is green and that was green, it would send a green signal here. And it would say that these three buttons are now letting a dupe in to use this machine. We will need to remember to set these guys to the 5095. I think you can also do 50 to 100. So this one is below the 50. So it's saying, yes, I need power. This one's full. So it's saying, no, I don't need the power. So right now it would run the coal generator because this guy's low. So let's get our or gate. And there we go. All right, so as you can see, this one's too low. So this is running. All right, disconnect power wires F2 to C. Let's disconnect those with a high priority, please. All right, so now we can see that this one's load is a little high still. Bit of a shot much closer to not like I think it was uh, 1400 now it's just 40 over and this guy's real low because <laughs> there's not a whole lot on here which is why I'll probably put the texture loom textile loom um, on this lower half so yeah that is our very first um, bigger power setup Ooh, speaking of we should remove disconnect deconstruct that guy and that one. And then we'll get rid of these power cords. It'll be a little bit of a waste losing this full battery, but... Oh, and we need to get rid of our automation wires here, which will give us some more copper and stuff, which will be nice. But yeah, we've got a big, big power situation going on now. We can now insulate this area because it is no longer... Um, producing heat that we don't want trapped in here. So yeah, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. And if you have any like tips or tricks or if I've done something wrong, let me know about that down below as well. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.